Welcome to Deep Thought. The power of seeing the big picture. That is a power. That is a power because I'm going to tell you what. A lot of times, if you really pay attention to people, you pay attention to society, they don't see the big picture of something. They see a small part of it. You know, like sometimes, I mean, it, it's deep in a way. Some people just see their tiny part. Then you get another group of people, they'll see what everybody else sees. You know, they following the crowd and everything, you know, and they don't really, in fact, they don't really see much. You know, I'll give it to the people that see a tiny part, they seeing something on their own, but then you get another group, they only seeing what the masses are seeing. Like imagine, um, and I, I used this example before of uh, reptiles and insects and everything. Like a reptile just sees this immediate area. Meanwhile, ants or something like that, they, they'll see whatever the mass sees and stuff. But then you have a bird that flies above everything and sees everything. You want to see that. You always want to look at the big picture at something, no matter what. You always want to look at the big picture. What is the big picture showing you? You know, not just, not just this one person or this one incident right here, but what's happening overall. Like, uh, I, I use an example. If you, you always have stories about different towns that are crime, have crime and everything, right? And you might see it on that small basis, you know, somebody getting robbed or you know, something happening there, some, some of a criminal nature happening. All right, you might see that small part and say, oh, the crime is bad. But then what's the bigger picture? The bigger picture is it doesn't have any businesses. The manufacturing plants aren't there anymore that created jobs, you know? You know that's the bigger picture. What about what's, what's happening in the region? What's happening in the region? Are they creating jobs for people? You know, that's the bigger picture. Like you look at anything happening, what's the bigger picture? Like you got um, a lot of talk about people not having babies like they used to. Okay, you can see that on a smaller scale. You know, a woman might not want to have a baby. And then maybe a bigger scale, maybe some men not having, you know, money or being able to provide, the woman might not want to have a particular man's baby. You know, but then the bigger picture is, OK, what's happening in that entire region? Are there jobs for that man? Is it is it uh, infrastructure in place for that woman to have a child? You got to look at it. You got to look at everything. Like when you're looking at any area, you got to look at the bigger picture of it. You know, it like um, let me use a crime example again, because you know, sometimes when I do my car videos on my other channel, I say, yeah, Popo, the police, they're not really that busy. But then if you look at the bigger picture, you have, you have a, a bigger number of people who live in this overall community. And it's more of a bedroom community who they just, you know, they're professionals. They're making more money and everything. You got nicer homes and everything. They're not going to commit the same amount of crimes. Definitely not. They, they don't have any reason to. You know, so you got to look at, OK, what's happening in that region? You got to look at the I don't care what it is. Politically, you always have to look at it. You know, economically, what's happening? You know, socially, what type of people are there? You got to look at everything because that's the thing. You got to look at it because it's like uh, an envi environment is very important. Environment is very important. You don't ask why a fish is behaving a certain way without looking at the environment or animals are behaving a certain way. Like I remember uh, years ago, they were showing something about how I think it was I think it was Yellowstone Park. I think. Don't quote me on it yet. Critically think and look that up. But it was a major it was a major park, whatever it was. I think it was Yellowstone. And they were showing, it was a documentary showing how wolves, the introduction of wolves have changed everything. You gotta look at that. Like why are these animals behaving a certain way? Oh, wait, they have wolves. And these wolves are affecting everything else. 
See, when you're looking at a, the bigger picture, you're looking at every part of it. You ain't just seeing one part and saying, wow, why are these animals behaving a certain way? Oh, wait, let's look at the entire environment. You know, how come these fish aren't like, um, you know, reproducing or something? You got to look at the environment. What is the environment? What is the pond that they're in or the sea that they're in or river that they're in? You know? Oh, wait. They're not doing anything because people dumping some trash into it or something. You know, you got to look at it. You got to look at the whole thing. And it's a power. It really is a power because then you can see, that once you see the bigger picture, then if you need to solve a problem or at least at the very least understand the nature of a problem, then you can see everything. That's the important thing, and that's, that's what, as a thinker, a critical thinker, that you're asking some questions, you have to do that. You have to do that. You have to look at everything. You can't just look at one part and say, oh, okay, this, this is it. But it's like, wait a minute, you got to look at this, this, this. You got to look at all of these factors and see what are you really seeing there? What's really there? And it's, it's, it's a powerful thing. It's a powerful thing. You know, I mean, like I said, and it's, it's regardless of what it is. Like, I'm known for talking about relationships. Why are men and women behaving a certain way in a certain area? You can't just look at one person and say, oh, they, this is why. No, you have to look, okay, are they behaving because of their class? Maybe it's an upper class area, so people are going to behave differently. Or maybe in a bad area, you just say, okay, what's going on here? Oh, wait a minute, you gotta look at all, all of the people, not just one, but you gotta look at all of the people, you have to look at the economics, everything. You know, what type of uh, jurisdiction it is, you gotta look at how it's being run politically, you gotta look at every little thing to really understand something. You can't just say, oh, this, it's just this one thing and then boom, that's, that's all you want to like pay attention to. Because you might see one part, but then you're not going to, if you're thinking critically especially, remember I talked about that yesterday, um, you, you're thinking critically, you can't see, you're only seeing one part, you got to say, okay, why, why, why? You got to keep asking why. But as you are asking why, you are constantly expanding. And then you see everything and then it makes sense then everything makes sense, you know? Because then it's, it's like if you use the animal example, an insect example, ants might build their, uh, you know, their colony a certain way. And you might see that, it's like, why are they doing that? But then a bird will see it and say, oh, there's a stream that it tends to overflow and goes that way. So they, they really acting against that. And that's how you have to think. You have to see everything as best as possible, as best as possible. And you have to develop yourself to see the bigger picture. You have to ask why. You got to think critically. Okay, why? They doing it this way. Why? Boom. You know? Boom. 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 What's going on? So always think about that. That's the power. Because then you can understand everything that's happening. It's like, oh, okay. Everything makes sense. All right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want y'all to think about it. You can try to always consider the big picture. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.